Welcome to Fabio's Kitchen, where every week I will show you how to make a quick, amazing dish. All right, guys, Greenwood, Mississippi, Fabio Viviani, Viking headquarters, today here to settle once forever the biggest argument in culinary world how to make a proper linguine and clams. I know everybody and their cousin has a recipe. Some people use butter, some people use oil, garlic, no garlic, parsley, basil, white wine, no wine, shocked clam, whole clam. I gotta settle for you. First and foremost, you need a pot of hot boiling water and you need to know the move of the century. The move of the century is this. This is the move of the century, guys. So look, the move of the century have you holding pasta on top of a pasta pot like this. Then you fan it. See what I'm doing here, Nick? You see that? Because if you put your pasta like this, you're not very smart. You fan it first, see that? And you let it go. So it spreads. And it goes down and it cooks even. Look at that. Look, look, it's going down. Look at that. <whistles> Bam! Now, put your lid on. See that? The other side. Put your lid on. The other, sorry, guys. The other side. Put your lid on it. Leave the pasta alone. If you fan it like I did, you don't have to stir it, and there is not going to be any linguine sticking to each other. Second, hot pan. Thanks to the 23,000 BTU the Viking provides me, I can literally cut my cooking time in half. Okay, maybe not half, but by a lot, because these things get hot really fast, all right? So there, extra virgin olive oil. There is no butter in linguine and clams. A good amount of olive oil, because olive oil will provide the base for the thickness and the coating of your sauce. Here's what we got now. We got olive oil there. Then you got whole whole garlic cloves. If they're too big, get little, smaller one, or if they're too big, cut them in half. But you literally, you want them whole. And why whole? Because they will cook with the water, the clam juice. I'll show you why. See that? That's what you want. You want to cook your garlic cloves like that. You see that? Linguine and clam is a very fast dish. You can snooze or you're gonna lose and I'll show you why. Cook your garlic like that. See that? Now, some people like a little bit of chili flakes in it. I don't. I don't like them spicy. See the garlic is getting brown a little bit. You see that? It's getting brown on the outside. You see that, Nick? Brown on the outside. Now, it's time for a little parsley, just like that. And you gotta do the crackling. If he doesn't do the crackling, like that doesn't work. Then you put some clam juice Now, where do you get your clam juice? You can get clam juice in a can at a store, or if you do a lot of seafood. What you can also do, you can boil your clam before you use them, and then you shock them. The water that is left over, it's clam juice. That's all it is, it's cooked clam in a little bit of water, steam, all right? This is it. You gotta use your clam juice. Now, mind you, I shocked all my oyster, oyster, not oyster, this is a linguine and clam, not linguine and oyster. I shocked all my linguine. What am I? I'm, 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 I'm like literally losing my mind. I'm shocking the oyster, it's not oyster, it's clam. I'm not shocking linguine. Why did I say I'm shocking linguine? I'm shocking clams. I'm too excited about this dish. I don't even know what I'm talking about. I'm shocking clams like this because I hate, once I'm hungry, to go and have to literally 
fish for the clams in my pasta. I like them shocked like this. The pasta is boiling. Now check this out. I'm gonna get shocked clams and I'm gonna add them to my sauce. See that? Perfect. Now, it's time for a little bit of white wine to make an appearance. What you gotta do with this, you get a nice glass, you put a little bit of white wine and you drink it. It's fundamental that you drink white wine as you make linguine and clams. It wouldn't work with any other drinks. Mmm, it's delicious. And you, yes, you're gonna need the wine, but you're gonna need wine later. So now I'm gonna kick the fire up. And here's what I'm gonna do. It's very important right now. Listen carefully. Now, the pasta, it's bent, see? It's not spiky anymore. Now it's time to take it out. Because now it's what everybody mess up. You can't overcook your pasta. You gotta cook your pasta in the juice. In the juice. So let me get this here. All right. See that? Check that out. You see what's going on here? Boiling. See that? Get your linguine in it. If you don't cook your half raw linguine into the sauce, you're gonna have a washed, washed out linguine. Look, this is what you gotta do. You gotta cook your linguine in the actual sauce. Look, then more parsley on top. Don't touch them. Leave them, leave them alone. The, the fact that you might be able to saute things doesn't mean you have to do it. Same things, when you have money, doesn't mean you have to spend them. Leave her alone. Whole leaf of basil there, look at this. Whole leaf of basil. Look at this beautiful dish. They're gonna cook. And the time that you take out the linguine is when the pasta start to st stick because the sauce is almost completely reduced. It's a beautiful thing. And at that point, at that point, you're gonna add a little bit of wine to the pasta to bring it back all together. See that? Look at that. Now, we're gonna add a little bit more of olive oil. You might say there is a lot of oil, but oil and water will eventually go together thanks to the starches. Look, this is still juicy, but you see the pasta and the clams start to fry a little bit. Look at this. Now it's getting reduced and it's almost what I want it to be. Now that the sauce is almost gone, it's time to add some wine. And now, as high fire as possible. Got a little bit more parsley to it. Get your dish ready. You know one of the things I love about Viking guys? Check this out. 
It's very sturdy. They can't take a beating. Viking was literally built in the uh, around the late 80s from a guy that believed that professional appliances were meant to be in home cooking. So now they got the great feature, the power, the durability. They got the, the cooking gadget and tools and the heaviness of professional appliances, but you can get them at your home. And I love them because I'm not gentle with my appliances. And I'm a professional chef. I want the same quality appliances that I get in a restaurant at my house. So I can make the same linguine that you have in my restaurant, in my home, without worry about banging the stove up. These are made to last. Now, check this out. See how the pasta has coated all the sauce? You see how creamy, how creamy these have become? Look at that. All right, check this out, guys. Check this out, guys. Linguine and clams. This is smell delicious. God, I wish it was smelly vision. You can only get to check this out and watch it. Unfortunately, I get to eat, but oh well. <laughs> Somebody has to do it. It's just delicious. I'll see you guys next time. Fabio's Kitchen, Linguine and Clams. Hey, guys, if you like this dish, please share it and subscribe to my channel.